Is it necessary to have a website for your business? And what about social media marketing? Since it's free, is that all the marketing you need for your business? Because it's free, right? Well, on today's show, I'm going to give you five reasons why you need a website. But before we get into today's show, I want to talk about our sponsor for today's show, and that's Hill Realty Group. Hill Realty Group is a real estate company that serves the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Texas. Contact them about all your real estate needs, and you can find them online at hillrealtygroup.net. You can also connect on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at HRG Dallas. That's at HRG Dallas. Hill Realty Group, making people happy, changing lives. And now let's get into today's show. Hello and welcome to the 24 Hour Boss Podcast. This is Brian Hill. We have another great show for you today. And today I'm going to be giving you five reasons as to why you need a website, especially if you have a business. I'm going to give five reasons why you need a website. Now, there are more than five reasons as to why you need a website, but I'm just going to talk about five that I feel that are important. There are plenty more out there. But I think these five uh, pretty much uh, anywhere you go, if you search on YouTube or Google, uh, you'll be able to find some of these same reasons as to why you need a website. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right. So before we talk about the five reasons why you need a website, I want to just give you uh, two things you need if you are going to have a website or if you're going to create a website. There's two things that you need. And uh, those two things are a domain name and you need web hosting service. So a domain name, you probably already know it, but a domain name is basically the name or the address to the location. And it's how people access your site. Like you have uh, ESPN.com domain name, like I said, is the address or the location as to where people access your site. So, uh, before you get a website, you need to search to see if your domain name is available or whatever domain name that you have for your business, whatever your business name is, you want to be able to search for that. And so you'll do that by searching for the domain name. Uh, the second thing that you need is, of course, you need web hosting uh, service. And that is uh, a service or an online service that hosts your website. It's the actual location or the space basically it's going to be servers or if they say in the cloud it'll be servers that host your website and so you have different companies that offer these types of services you got GoDaddy you got HostGator and you have Bluehost those are maybe the three main or three major companies that offer web hosting services I myself I recommend Bluehost that's what I use uh, Bluehost is the leading uh, web hosting solutions company. They have just about everything you need to create and build a website. Um, I use Word WordPress to actually create my web sites and WordPress actually recommends Bluehost. So uh, I recommend using Bluehost. You can check them out, go to bluehost.com and you'll be able to see all of the different web service packages that they offer. Very great company, uh, great customer service, I would definitely highly recommend them. If you're going to try to create a website, I would definitely recommend you go check out Bluehost. And all of this information is going to definitely be in our show notes for this episode. Okay, so now let's talk about the five reasons as to why you need a website. All right, so the first reason as to why you need a website. And that reason is to have your own space. Social media it's good and you need social media to market uh, yourself or your business. But social media is like rented space online. You don't own that. It's actually owned by the social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, they own that space. They control that space. And uh, your information is basically held by them. So, uh, let's give an example. So what happens if uh, your social media platform you're using for whatever reason, for a technical reason, it goes offline 
minutes offline. I don't know for five minutes, 10 minutes. I know this may be rare, but it could happen. Right. But if it does happen, um, what happens? How do you reach your clients if uh, all you have is that social media page and it goes off the line? It goes off the grid for whatever reason. Uh, you won't be able to reach your clients. Uh, what happens if your account gets locked out or it gets hacked and you're trying to prove yourself to, you know, this social media platform like, hey, uh, you know, I didn't do that or it it wasn't really me that posted this information. You know, your your account can get locked out. And if you only have that social media as your marketing, you're basically kind of stuck and not able to reach your clients. So social media platforms are like rented space and so they control that space they control that online platform and so without having any other way to market yourself you're kind of limiting yourself and so a website gives you your own space it's your own space you're able to control it you're able to put whatever information you want on your website uh, put whatever uh, uh, information, whatever pages you want on your website, whatever uh, graphics, all of that information can be on your website because you control it, you own it. And so without that, if you just have a social media platform, it's like rent space. So that's the reason or the first reason why you need a website because it gives you your own space. It's like having home base, right? Everything, everything starts with your website. And all of your social media marketing, your email marketing, everything that you have, it should all point back to home base, which is your website. So that's reason number one. Reason number two why you need a website is that with a web hosting package, like whatever web uh, hosting service you sign up with, they're going to give you a professional business email. And what I mean by a professional business email is that it's going to be uh, have it's going to have the same naming convention as your website. So let's say you have a trucking company called uh, Brian's Trucking Company. Well, you can create professional emails. Of course, my name is Brian. So Brian at Brian's Trucking Company dot com versus having like a Gmail or a Yahoo where it'll be Brian at Yahoo dot com. That doesn't even relate to the business so if somebody sees that of course yeah you can still email people from the yahoo or the gmail but it's not professional and with a website when you sign up with a web hosting service or web hosting package you're going to get a professional email and you can create multiple uh professional emails you can create a info uh at uh, Brian's trucking company.com. You can create a contact email you can create a sales uh professional email with your web hosting package. And that's what you get when you sign up to get a website. It gives you a professional business email. It's just another way for you to look professional, another way for you to show that, Hey, you know, I'm serious about uh, doing business. So that's what you get when you sign up to get a website, you get a professional email. So that's reason number two, which is a great reason to have a website because you get professional business email. All right. So reason number three, why you need a website and that is it, it gives you an opportunity to boost your email marketing. So email marketing, of course, that's another way to market your business, but it is basically a marketing strategy in which you can send targeted emails to your clients. So when you sign up with an email marketing uh, platform or application, um, you'll be able to email your clients, your customers, uh, directly, right? You'll be able to create engaging emails. Like you can create sign up forms. You can create uh, newsletters, landing pages, lead magnets, all of these things uh, you'll be able to do uh, through email marketing. And one of the, the great benefits or some of the great benefits of having email marketing is that it's very easy to manage, right? It's very easy to manage. It's cost effective. Uh, the return on investment is very high. So uh, you can make uh, money uh, through email marketing because you're able to target your clients. I mean, you're able to send these specific emails to your clients. So it could increase, it could in increase sales for your business uh, through email marketing. And so 
that's one of the great things about having a website. Like I said, everything that you have, all of your marketing should point back to home base, which is your website. So you got your social media marketing, you got all of your different platforms that you use through social media. And then of course you could have email marketing. So all of this can be intertwined or connected to your website. It's just another way to market your business. Uh, there's different email platforms out there. You got constant contact, you got MailChimp and you got Aweber. Those are three. There's plenty more out there. I recommend Aweber. That's what I use. They're very great. Uh, easy to use. Like I said, you can create everything that you need uh, for email marketing in regard to newsletters, landing pages, lead magnets, all of those things. Uh, and that's what I do. And so that's another way to, to market your website or to uh, uh, advertise your website, which is through email marketing. And so that's something that's very beneficial for you to have and to enter uh, connect with your website. So again, this information is definitely going to be in the show notes, all of the information that I'm providing. All right. So let's keep going. Reason number four to uh, get a website or have a website is that you can make money online, right? I already said through email marketing, you can increase sales through email marketing. And so uh, you can make money, of course, online through your websites. If you have products to sell, uh, you can uh, create an online store where customers can create or they can select your different products and you can make sales online through your website. So this is a definitely a great reason why or one of the most important, I guess, reasons why you need to have a website because you can make money. And of course, I'll say again, I've said this before, you don't need to have a business. You shouldn't go in business just to make money. Um, but of course, a business is a, is there to provide a service in return to make money. So what better way to make money than through your website um, where people can, you know, select your products online where you could be sleep at home and someone's going to your store and they're they're selecting whatever products they want to uh, purchase from your website. So. It's a great advantage and a great reason to have a website because uh, you can make money online. And who doesn't want to make money, right? I mean, that's that's just a no-brainer. All right, so our last reason as to why you need a website is because all of your competitors are online. So if you're not online but all your competitors are online, who do you think uh, those customers are going to go to? They're going to go to your competitors. So you need to make sure that you are competing just like your competitors are competing with you. So in order to do that, you need to be online and that's why you need a website. So your competitors are there. You need to be out there as well because it is, uh, it's, it's very competitive in business. And so if you don't have a website, you're basically eliminating yourself uh, from the field and you don't want to do that. Right. So you want to be able to be found. You want to be able to. Yes, of course. Uh, like I said, social media is great. But to have that added uh, 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 technique or added weapon in your in your marketing strategy, you need to have a website because that makes you look professional. When you think about it, if someone comes up to you and they say, hey, you know, they, they hand you this business card, they got their name on it, all this information. They say, hey, you know what? I got this service. I got this product. Um, you know, if you're ever interested, just let me know. Contact me and they hand you that business card. Well, what is one of the first things you do if you want to find out more about this person's company? If you look at that card and you don't see a website on there, it's like, well, how can I find out more about this business? But that's what a website does. It gives you an opportunity to showcase uh, your service, showcase your products, showcase yourself. Uh, people get to see what you're all about and what you're offering. And so you need to have a website because it's that added value. It definitely shows that you're serious about business. And of course, I'm not saying that if uh, you don't have a website, you're not serious about business, because I know that uh, for most people, when they start out, they don't have a website. You know, you may not know uh, how to start a website or you may not uh, have the funds to uh, to create a website or pay someone to. Uh, help you to to create your website. I understand that, but I'm just saying that um, eventually that should be something that you look to do. Uh, yes, sure. You know, you need to set up your different social media platforms, but also you want to make sure that you set up 
a website because you want people to be able to find you. Not only that, you want to showcase your services, your products, your skills, and all that. Like I said, I listed all these reasons. You want to be able to to make money. You want to be able to intertwine your email marketing. You want to be able to uh, uh, have that professional business email. And uh, also, you want your own space because the social media platforms, they are like rented space. So you want to be able to to have your own space, your home base, where everything else that you do your marketing through, it points back to your website. So those are the five reasons as to why you need a website. Like I said, I know there are more than five reasons as to why you need a website, but I just wanted to tackle those five just to kind of encourage you, intrigue you to help you understand that it is important uh, in the marketing strategy that you have that that's part of your plan to have a website. So I hope that something was said in this episode, this little short, quick episode to help you understand as to why you need a website. Very important. You want to make sure you do that. And uh, now, actually, when I, when I when you think about it, if you don't know, um, you don't really uh, need to have uh, serious coding skills or uh, to know all of the different uh, web languages, HTML, all of that. That's good to know if you do know it. But a lot of times uh, now with these web applications, a lot of it is just drag and drop where you just dragging items and putting it up there. So if you're one of those uh, do it yourselfers like me, um, you'll be able to do this on your own. But of course you could, you can hire someone as well to do it for you. So we hope something was said in this episode to help you understand that uh, you do need a website. And those are the five reasons as to why you need a website. I'm going to ask if you would subscribe to our podcast on your favorite uh, podcast media outlet. Uh, We are on iTunes, Spotify, Google, Amazon, and even Stitcher. So um, if you listen to any of those uh, podcasts, Uh, media outlets i'm going to ask if you would subscribe to our channel that way you'll be notified once we release a new episode also if you could follow us on instagram and facebook we would definitely appreciate it and appreciate you connecting with us and that's uh, at 24 hour boss that's at 24 hr boss we would definitely appreciate the follow and even connecting with us thanks for visiting the 24 hour boss podcast be sure to visit our site at www.24hrboss.com to be inspired to learn and start a side hustle.